us a little bit for you. Just don't, you know what, just don't look around, okay? Hey, thanks for coming over and hanging out with me, party people. What is the plan today? That's a good question, I wrote it all down. Okay, I recently decluttered, well I recently did like a whole house declutter, that was fun, but before I did that, I decluttered both of my kids' closets. Well, I say both of my kids, but I mean all four of my kids but they both share a closet, so it was two closets. It's irrelevant. I decluttered their closets, so they needed a summer wardrobe. For school, they have like a uniform, a loose uniform. So come summertime, they're always like, oh, I have nothing to wear, I have no shorts, I have no I'm like, okay, if you declutter, we can go get a summer wardrobe. So they decluttered some of their clothes from last year, and we went to One Spawn Child yesterday, spent about a small fortune on their clothes. Actually, they got a lot for the amount of money that we spent. I love shopping secondhand, saves the environment, saves your wallet, all that good stuff. Hashtag non spawn but I do have some of their clothes that they decluttered that are in good shape and I wanted to bring them up to Once Upon a Child but I forgot to do that yesterday so I'm gonna do it today and we're gonna see how much money they got for their clothes. I give them the money because it's like, I don't know, there's really no rhyme or reason. I just feel like, oh, here's your reward for doing some work. So I have to do that and I'll show you all of the clothes that I got them. Well, most of them. They have picked through them and worn a few pieces. I also, I'm gonna make the kids lunch or whatever when I get home. I also plan to share my workout with you. We'll see if it's like a 15 minute workout or a 10 minute workout today. Oh, maybe I'll share some dinner with you. I just threw in a marinade, so I'll show you what I put. But the main attraction today is my shoe cabinet. It has been weeks since I went to Ikea, you guys, weeks. I have been scouring Pinterest, Amazon, Google, Facebook Marketplace. I've been scouring everything to try to find a solution to store my shoes. And I just haven't found anything that I feel like would work. Well, actually I did. <laughs> I saw something on Facebook Marketplace last night. It said, is this still available? Yes it is. Cool, where do you live? She told me. I asked if she would take a different amount. Always trying to get a deal, right? She said, no sorry, I'm waiting on someone who is paying full price. I was like, so is this item available or is it pending? I was like, I'll pay full price. Anyway, since I didn't get the deal off of Facebook Marketplace, I figured yeah, I'll just go up to Target and spend like 15 extra dollars than what this lady was asking for and just buy it myself. It's just like a cubby, storage cubby, cube system, whatever they're called. But the baskets to go inside of that, oh my gosh, are they expensive! One of them, I was like, oh, that's a really cute basket. It was $20. No, thank you, I'm not spending $20 on six Six, $20 times six? Do you know how much that is? Too much. More than the shelf itself. Anyway, I figured it would be good because I won't have to stare at shoes and each person in our house will have their own cubby. So I have to go get that. Actually, that's probably the first thing I'm going to do because I put in the order last night. Because I figured if I didn't order it, I'd probably talk myself out of it. So I just ordered it. I'm gonna go pick it up and then I have a few more things to pick up at Target. So maybe I'll show you a Target haul too. And then we'll do the rest of this stuff. Let's go. I actually need to put some dishes away before I head out. And I forgot, I told you that I was gonna show you my marinade. So it's just been sitting in a little baggie. Where is the marana? If I was thinking about it, I would have made something else, but I, I wasn't thinking. It's this honey mustard marinade and dressing. I also have this one, which I feel like would really be good. It's a bit creamier. Cilantro ranch lime. That sounds good, right? In my head, I was going to add like fresh lime juice to it and I feel like that would just kick it up a notch, but I didn't and here we are. You know what? I might run into Home Goods to see if they have any um, baskets and stuff. And while I'm there, I need a new eight by eight baking dish because this one, I have tried everything in my power to get it clean. Also, it chipped, which is so sad but I've been using it, but I have scrubbed. My elbow grease is just not enough for this. I use baking soda and lemon. I used all kinds of cleaning concoctions and it's just not coming out. And that's my brownie tray, so I definitely need a new one. Okay, good enough. Okay, so here are all of the clothes. We just have a bag full of pants, and then this is stacked like double high. The baby clothes are on the bottom, big girl clothes are on the top. So, um, let's see how much money they get. Last time they got 30 bucks, so I'm hoping for something good. We have arrived at the land of Target. 
Let's see what's inside. <laughs> what kind of goodies we can find. Hold on, I saw these online. They are $8 and they're like Sophie's reincarnated, you guys. Styles really do recycle themselves. Are you looking at these? And in some of the pictures, they have them even rolled down one. <laughs> this is the good life, man. I'm laughing because they had someone bring out a pallet cart to put it in our car. <laughs> I was like, I could just carry it out. It's no big deal, but they're so helpful. Back inside to get the rest of the crap we need. We've been shopping around Target and I'm at the basket section uh, looking for the right size basket. I also don't want to spend a million dollars on a dang basket. Can I get an amen? $20. I think this is the size I need. Yeah, 13 inch. Ugh. There's more over here. Uh, no, thank you. Okay, these are cute baskets, and I actually think this is the style, like the, um, the natural wood. These are $10, and they're like half the size that I need. They wouldn't work for what I need, but they're really cute. Okay, I have bought these before and these are $10. I love that, but I'm looking for something a little sturdier since it's gonna be pulled every single day, probably multiple times a day. I actually think this is the cabinet I just got, but I got it in uh, the natural color wood. Ooh, take a look at these candles. They kind of rival uh, Bed Bath & Body Works, <laughs> that store. I'm gonna sniff on them. Ooh, they're only $10. They're really pretty. I mean, I say only, but compared to uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, you know? Okay, I found a couple more baskets over here. Not those, but I thought that was pretty. Thought I would share it with you. Well, these are maybe the ones I was looking at. I don't know. They're pretty, but gosh, are they expensive. Even more candles over here. Um, I smelled a bunch of them. They're all starting to smell the same, but this one is probably my favorite. So I needed to buy some disinfectant for our diaper pail. I like to spray it out. And look what I found. Grove is now selling the glass spray bottles and the concentrates here. So they have a few different scents on the concentrates and I love that. I love how it cuts down on waste. Yes, two thumbs up. Avelina's with me. Oh my gosh, I smell the coffee. It smells so delicious. It brings me back to my college days. Look at that lemon pound cake. <gasps> Maybe I'll go home and make that. Maybe tomorrow. Ooh, I'm drooling. We're getting Starbucks, but not real Starbucks. I'll show you in a sec. The barista's doing his thing. The coffee smells divine. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, thank you so much. It looks delicious. You are. Thank you. Okay, so initially I asked for water with strawberries in it because I've heard other people say that you can get that at Starbucks and it comes in a Starbucks cup so your kids feel like they're getting something special. Uh, well, I'm here to tell you it is $4. <laughs> you better believe I'm not spending $4 on ice water and a few strawberries. So instead, what I got Avelina because she was asking for one is this dragon fruit drink. I guess it's coconut milk and I have no idea. Dragon fruit, I'm guessing. I'm gonna try some. Do you like it? Yeah. It matches my outfit. <laughs> we never drink at Starbucks, so this is a true treat. That was like $5. It's an, only for summertime. Summertime fun, I said one time only. One time only. All right, we are headed to Home Goods to see if we can find baskets. Cross my fingers. I just saw someone walking around with a flamingo lamp. Lucky. Okay, quick yeah. walkthrough of the aisles, and I don't really see anything that would work. Maybe this one. Ugh, maybe not. I guess something like this would work too. There's three in this pack for $15, which is a decent price, uh, but I would need two of those packs and I don't see another one. <laughs> oh, just my luck. Oh wait, is that it? No, that's different. That could work too. I mean, it's not like what I would want. This one too, but it's something. Ooh, we found more baskets. I still don't think it's the size we need. This one's really pretty though. The handles definitely won't fit. Look at this, this is really cute too. I could have stacked these in the closet uh, and you know, had a cubby for everyone. It's $60 for each one though, so <laughs> not sure that would have worked out. That's really pretty too. You guys are never going to guess how much I got back. And first of all, I already see like right on top, this was never worn. I bought it for family photos for Meredith. 
She never wore this. I wonder if they took the pants. They didn't even take, oh no, that's a bathing suit. Why? Oh, they must have taken the pants, but not the top that went with it. Hmm, interesting. It's Baby Gap. There are no stains. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> so how much do you think I got back? It doesn't look like they took anything because um, the clothes were like compact and folded before and now they're just thrown in there. How much do you think we got? Like $30? $43. That's a lot of money. So that means you get 20, Eleanor gets 20, and I get $3 for being a mom. Ooh, I'm gonna cut up this watermelon right here. So many kids at my house, let me tell you. Some of them are in the pool, some of them are roaming around the house looking for random things. I'm gonna cut this up, and it's gonna be summertime fun. I thought about, oh, making a charcuterie board and doing some of that, but nah. I'm just, oh, this smells like a good one. Ooh, I wasn't sure because it looked really dark, and I know sometimes when they're really dark, they're like overripe, but this looks like a perfect melon. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I... Okay, so I'm back from Target with the haul. Let me show you everything I got. Okay, so uh, you wanna see everything I got from Target? Cool, aside from the huge shelf that I got that I need to put together, fun for me. Uh, also the baskets, Home Good, disappointed Home Goods didn't have any. I went on Amazon, oh, I just don't wanna spend the money. I also just don't, I could go to Ikea and get those. I don't know, a lot going on in here. So is that our front door? So I'm going to quickly show you everything I got. Just some conditioner, the girls needed conditioner. Again, I feel like I just bought them some. They go through it like this and then they have a ball and uh, whatever. Uh, they also needed some mouth rinse. I also needed some body wash, found this. I like Olay. And guess what? It is cleansing and renewing. It has vitamin B3 and retinol. Do I need that? I thought, how old am I? I'm almost 34, my birthday's coming up really quickly. It has a very strong, it is pretty perfumey, but it is really nice. I don't, that's, so that's what I got. I've been out of body wash for quite some time and I thought, Kim, just get some, okay? I also needed some disinfectant spray and I don't know what the, oh, oh, I could have sprayed this in the store. Okay, I just wanna give it a little whiff. Ooh, it's strong. It's eucalyptus, I smell that. Eucalyptus and thyme and, oh no, and spearmint. Yes, eucalyptus. All right, I can dig it. I just, whenever I empty out Meredith's diaper pail, I usually spray it and I ran out of this, so I needed more. Ooh, there's more in here. Okay, a couple really fun items. I needed, okay, I got some beauty items. I guess they're dug, oh no, I found some right here. Some toner. The toner that I use, apparently they're out of it. Last time I went to Target, they didn't have it. That was like over a week ago, if you can believe I've been out of Target for a week. And they didn't have it. So I, <coughs> I almost went online to buy it, but then I didn't. I thought, oh, next time I go, they'll have it. But guess what, they didn't. So I just grabbed this, it, the toner I like is like acne, like fights acne, whatever. I'm 34, I have wrinkles and pimples. It should be illegal, but it's not. So I need like acne fighting toner, which this does have salicylic acid in it, so I grabbed it. Not a huge fan of the scent. And then I thought, well, I was looking at all of the toners because I, I spent probably 20 minutes looking at all of the toners and I found some really cool ones. Some of them were quite expensive, like 20 bucks, which I almost got, but then I thought, well, I don't know. So I ended up getting this one. It's the Bliss brand, which I've never tried anything from, but what got me is the really cool lid. I used to have, well, my sister used to have something like this and I just thought she was like the, ooh, ooh, it's, here it goes. Oh, I thought they would be sealed or something. I just always thought she was the coolest on the block. She had a container like this and she would get put nail polish remover in it and I was like, man, that's so cool. So, clear genius. It's clarifying toner and serum. I'm totally into that at my ripe old age of 34. And then I grabbed some Grove Co. Ultimate Dish Soap. Cleans 1,000 dishes? 1,000 dishes? Do we believe that claim? Dazzling, sparkling dishes. So on the back it talks about our aluminum packaging is helping to end the plastic era. For good. For good. 
and I really liked that and I like buying concentrates I'm laughing because I have a laundry full of like plastic uh, all-purpose sprays and stuff like that but I'm going to be more conscious and buy more concentrates that's my plan. But this is uh, dish soap, so I figured, well, I need dish soap. Claims a thousand plates. How can you go wrong? I also got some makeup. I've been out of my powder for a while, so I might look a little greasy. No big deal. I also needed some toothpaste. Last time I was at the dentist, I said, I use this toothpaste. Is this toothpaste okay? Is it like the junk food of toothpaste? Because one time I heard someone say that and she said, use whatever. As long as it has fluoride, I use whatever's on sale. And I said, that's my kind of toothpaste okay and then i grabbed this it's new i guess it fights stubborn acne and this is a benzyl peroxide treatment and for whatever reason i've been breaking out lately i don't know if it's the kind of food i'm eating the kind of face oh you know what i ran out of my face wash <laughs> i finally bought some off of amazon it's like a specialty one it's expensive i mean it's not crazy expensive but i always dread buying it it lasts me so long i don't know why i dread it but i was out of it for a while and then i broke out a bunch and i was like oh i should buy it anyway so i used to have a benzoyl peroxide i used to use some before i got pregnant because i don't think you're supposed to use this when you're pregnant i don't know i guess i should read the warnings or whatever but it was uh, prescribed to me way back when so it was probably like a higher dosage than this anyway i just thought eh, that it won't hurt to add it it's maybe it's bad for my body i don't know maybe i should need to google research it before i put it on my body put it on my face and all that kind of stuff i got bobby pins i got clear elastics because we blaze through 500 pieces faster than you think I also got these really small, clear, they look like, I don't know, they're like stretchy hair ties. Avelina asked for these. You know what else Avelina asked for? Contact solution. I don't know what she's making. And then some magical potion for slime. And then some clear glue for slime because I guess dad approved slime for summertime. And then some, whatever this is, foaming uh, shaving cream to make some slime. And I got a book for Avelina. This one is called Truly Tyler. She's read all the other books by this author. It's a graphic novel and she's really into those. So it'll probably, she reads them multiple times, but the first time she reads them, she like blazes through it. And I'm like, go read it again. Uh, oh, and then for summertime, last time we went to the beach, our little things broke. Speaking of like single use plastic and trying to be nicer to the environment, whenever anyone talks to me about like, oh, you use Ziploc bags or whatever, and I try to use them sparingly, I also try to wash them and I have reusable like silicone Ziploc bag type of things. Anyway, whenever someone talks to me about being environmentally friendly, I like to remind them that one, I use reusable bags, so there's that. I also cloth diapered for children. So once you do that and scrape poop out of a diaper for four children, <laughs> then you can talk to me about buying a toy that's plastic. That will probably last me a couple of years because the last one I bought, <gasps> I bought two of them? Oh, I'm gonna have to see if they if the, she rung up two. For some reason, I thought it was just one. Oh, wow, I'm an idiot. I, so, I wanna say these were like $5 and I thought, $5, look, there's four in there so you could do a little team and I just thought that was a great deal but now I'm, it's two. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Anyway, we recently went to the beach, tried to play, but they were broken, so we needed more. Wow, wow, wow. I also got two cartons of strawberries and then two boxes of my kids' favorite cereal. Milk and cereal, cereal and milk, cereal and milk, cereal and milk, milk and cereal. All right, that is my whole Target haul. That's it. Okay, time for dinner. I'm pulling out the good old GFG, the George Foreman. We had someone over the other night and they were younger and they were like gushing about the GFG. And I was like, you've never heard of a GFG? So I guess I'm at that stage of my life where like young people have no idea what I'm talking about. I saw a shirt today at Target that said it was sister, sister. And I was like, oh my gosh, the coolest. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut up some veggies, some peppers and onions, because that's what I've been craving. I just really want some like peppers and onions. And then, uh, will it go well with mustard chicken? Who the heck knows? Um, I'm gonna let that come to room temperature as much as it will by the time I like cut all this stuff up. Meat that is at room temperature 
uh, cooks better and more evenly than if it's not at room temperature. I have two green bell peppers, one red one, one onion. What starch? Should I just make like rice? Okay. Let's make basmati rice. Really spice things up over here. And I just use my rice cooker to make rice. <laughs> My plant is falling apart back here. Look, the stems are falling off. It's finally dying. I don't know why. Maybe too much water. I don't know. Ah, do you see that? I've been semi-struggling lately. I've been wanting to film a what's for dinner video, but so I'm trying to look for like new and exciting recipes. And for whatever reason, I just am only able to find desserts. Maybe because that's all I want to make. Maybe I'll just make a summer desserts recipe video. Not sure if people are ready for that, but I sure am. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I'm cutting it in really chunky pieces because that's what I want. Anyway, so if you have any really great summertime dinner recipes, I'd love for you to share them with me. Okay, I'm gonna start on the veggies now because we're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I just do a little bit of oil. Rice Krispies in the morning. Look at this beautiful, colorful tray of deliciousness. I like to wait until the pan gets nice and hot and add my veggies. That's a lot of veggies. And then I just add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Keeping things nice and simple. I cooked them at a pretty high temperature. While the veggies are cooking, I'm going to throw my chicken on. Whoopsie. That's it. Look at that steam. Yes, please. Okay, I think everything is done. And here's dinner, a nice, simple, very, very fast meal. It took me probably max 10 minutes to throw together. I mean, the rice took about, I don't know, 12 to cook in the Instant Pot, but. Eat your heart out, Julia child. Bon appetit. I should also mention we have a few contenders as far as um, sauces go. Sriracha barbecue sauce, Ugh, delicious. Classic barbecue sauce. And some good sweet red chili sauce. My kids really like that. I have to tell you, I just cut up the chicken, so of course, chef's taste, I had to taste it, right? The marinade is delicious. It's not like a huge mustardy overpowering flavor, but I mean, maybe it's because it's chicken thighs too, but it kept the chicken really, really moist, and it gives it just a little flair, a little kick. I like it. I just laid out Eleanor's summer wardrobe and they were so excited to spend the day with me yesterday to go shopping. And I, I just love thrift store shopping and Once Upon a Child is my favorite thrift store when it comes to buying like kids clothes because they have an amazing selection and their clothes are always, well at least my local one is superb, top notch, because they always have great clothes. Nothing looks worn or raggedy or anything like that. So I'll show you everything Eleanor has to wear for her summertime fun wardrobe. Here it all is. And actually a few pieces are missing. I know she has purple shorts that go really good with that top. And I'm sure a few more pieces are missing. I think she got a, a pajama set. I'm not really sure. Most of these pieces, I'm just going to scan by them. Obviously this pink flamingo top is one of my faves. What brand is it? Oh, it's Justice. So they have really great brands too. For a really affordable price, most of these shirts, I mean, they range depending on the brand from $2.50. Most of them I think were $3.50. Some of the tags are already off because they got so excited they were just started ripping them off, getting them ready for the laundry. This skirt is another one of my faves. Like this top, are you kidding me? So adorable. So many of the clothes I thought, man, I wish they had that in my size because they were just so darling. I did find a two piece set in Avelina size. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, this is one of her favorites. Cool. So a lot of summery colors, a lot of fun stuff. I have laid out, <laughs> this takes me so much longer than anyone would probably think. I laid out all of Avelina's clothing 
Uh, yeah, all right, so many pants, so many pants. Actually, right up here is Eleanor's dress. It, doesn't this just scream summertime? The sun, the watermelon, the rainbows, the rain, the sea fish, I mean starfish. So we've got some pajama shorts, a lot of pants. Oh my gosh, these golden girl pants up here. The, oh, these are my favorite, I wish they were in my size. And then these, they are so flowy and fun at the bottom. At the bottom, she, we were, describing styles and she was trying to explain her style or what she wanted she wasn't sure what her style is she kept throwing around like cottage core and light academia mostly because those are the only two styles that i know and but like this shirt specifically screamed cottage core to me i love the ruffles on this like high-waisted skirt so yeah i don't know what her style is hodgepodge is what she called it she likes the ripped jeans so i gave in oh my gosh and she got a two-piece bathing suit she got this cover up isn't it darling but yeah she got a, a two-piece bathing suit for the very first time so she was really excited about that but it's very cute so i'll have to show that to you like on it's in the washer right now i'll have to show it like next time she's wearing it on instagram i'll snap a picture or something it is darling oh speaking of style i got dressed this morning and she goes "Ooh, mom that's like light academia i was like oh no big deal uh, okay there's that cool i could have totally walked this to my car uh now it's time ugh, to put this together i hope it doesn't take forever all right well here we go. Do you ever feel you don't get out what you're putting in? All your hopes and efforts are all in. closet so this should fit perfectly no oh Kim why oh no oh no oh no squeeze it in this way it doesn't fit oh what are the dimensions I measured I measured I measured all right here we go 30 inches it says 30 inches, 30 inches, 30 inches. Where are you 30 inches? Tell me if that isn't 30 inches. You gotta see it. You got 30 inches. You see that right in the corner? 30 inches, 30 inches, 30 inches and some centimeters to spare. It doesn't fit, it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. Maybe if I take this door off. Well, I'm done dealing with that for now. I got dressed. I'm gonna do a little workout before my family gets home. They're at martial arts right now. They'll probably be home in about 10 minutes. Ugh. Perfect amount of time to do Sydney Cummings 10 minute workout. But let me share with you the cutest sandals that I found from Meredith at Once Upon a Child. Aren't these darling? Oh, yes. All right, let me get my, but, my guys, booty bands. So grab your mini band or our new Royal Change Glute Resistance. Do I have time to go to the bathroom? Started. That one was a little weak. I got a little bit box. A 10-minute butt and 
inside Burton. No! Make sure you grab your mini bag. Another workout, 10 minutes. Just move your body. It doesn't take much. Look, I'm sweating. It was just 10 minutes. That's it, 10 minutes and I'm sweating. You have 10 minutes. Don't tell me you don't, okay? You have 10 minutes. I know you do. I forgot to show you the few items that I got for Meredith. Aren't they so stinking darling? I just picked up a few things for her. This shirt, oh my gosh, it's like, like something an adult would wear, but in kid size, I love when they do that. And then I found this really sweet, like princess cartoony shirt. I used to have a really nice painting that looked like that, but um, I think I got rid of it when we moved, when I got married. This shirt is the bee's knees. What does it say? Keep busy, oh, that's so sweet. And then this little lightweight shirt, and then some shorts. She's wearing the cutest outfit today. Let me see if I can get her. Show me your flamingos. Let's stand up. Show me your flamingos. <gasps> flamingos! Where is Meredith? Peekaboo! Peekaboo! <laughs> Where is Meredith? Peekaboo! You look so sweet in your outfit. Where's Meredith? Where's Meredith? Peekaboo! <laughs> Where is Meredith? <laughs> and then I bought a few shirts for Wentworth. I just decluttered his clothes. He has so many bottoms. I just figured he needed a few new shirts for summertime, even though it's like dark and totally not summertime. It's just a shirt. I thought he, he really likes the dinosaurs. And then just a couple of other shirts. How much were these? Oh, this one was on clearance, so it was $3.50, but half off that. Oh, this one was clearance too, $3.50, half off that. Wow, I really scored. And then I just got a set of pajamas for him. Lightweight, they're shorts and uh, shorts. And then I got him this really cool summertime fun shirt. He wore it yesterday. I'll see if I can post something about it here. Uh, okay, it's been a while. Clearly the shoe situation is not the solution I was looking for, <laughs> but we're getting used to it. We just got these bins in last night. They started filling them up. Whose shoes are these? I don't know. I, I'm not sure about these bins, if I would recommend them yet. They are collapsible. Uh, they're hard because this door is in the way, you know, but temporary solutions I have to keep reminding myself. Uh, they come in a three pack on Amazon. Uh, they fit, they're like the 13 inches, but I don't know. It has, I mean, they're pretty sturdy up here and down there. It's just, 
it's a work in progress, I guess is all I'm trying to say. But Alex was able to slide that cabinet in there. He took the door off, and if you can see on the bottom, it fits, but over the footboard. <laughs> so, better than nothing, I guess, you know? I mean, we could put it right here. We could, but we didn't. But that is it, good gravy. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed your time. I always enjoy my time with you. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy on your day, and I will see you next time.